Hi, I'm Bill Lewis. Thank you for joining me. Normally I talk about repairing computers, but today we're going to do something different. We're going to repair a telescope. The scope in question is a Mead 10 inch LX200 Classic Schmidt Cassegrain. Now, the problem is when using it, there was a lot of backlash in the declination. Let me demonstrate using this marker. Say this is the optic optical tube of the telescope. When you rotate the telescope up, everything's fine. When you start to lower the scope, you know, for the declination, mm -hmm. the motor runs, the little adjustment knob is spinning, but the tube isn't moving. Maybe about a quarter of a second later, it'll move down. Run it back up again. Again, the motor's running. The knob is spinning. Optical tube is not moving to maybe about a quarter of a second, and then it moves up. Grabbing the back of the scope, I got a lot of shake like that. That tells me right off the bat, there's a problem within the declination drive creating a lot of backlash, which required surgery. Uh, I could have sent it over to Mead and wait God knows how long to have them repair it or tackle the job myself. So. I tackled the job myself. Let's take a look, see what's going on. So the first order of business, we bring the scope inside and we set it up on a uh, workbench to see what's going on. Uh, the arrow you see there is pointing right to the declination drive itself where it's located. Now remove the three screws on the cover and the clutch knob and we give access to the declination drive. As you can see, the pretty much the mechanisms on the left hand side. A little bit closer, this is where the problem's all lying. Now we've got the motor, a small circuit board, the worm gear, and the declination gear itself. Uh, keeping the tension of the worm gear against the declination gear is a spring that holds the whole thing up there. On examination, we found the problem happens to be the spring, right there where you see it pointing. Now it's not allowing the worm gear to engage with the declination gear. Now, uh, I was able to test that by pressing up on the system and putting extra tension on there and the system seemed to work. So it tells me bad spring. So remove the, take the declination drive uh, out of the scope and uh, remove the spring and there it is. Uh, it had absolutely no tension, it was very, very weak. Uh, it was like it was not even there, so it has to go. Quick trip to my local hardware store and I bought some new and stronger springs. I only needed one, but it came in a package of like six of them. So I, no, so I got extra springs just in case I ever need them again. Uh, it didn't cost me much, only about $3. So we popped the new spring into place, into the declination drive, as you can see it there. Fits like a glove. Now we get the drive back into the scope. Where it belongs, run the cables all through. And we got to get the holes to line up. Uh, problem that we've got a new spring in there, which got a lot of tension. So you had to fight with it a little bit just to get it to, into position. We get the first screw into place. We get it tightened up with a Allen wrench. Next, we throw in the second screw and tighten that one up. And then we stand the scope up on its base and we run the scope uh, manually to see what was happening, see if the, that cured the problem. And so far, it looks like it Pass that test. Now we're going to add power to it. You know, plug it in, put in the keypad, get all the wiring into place. And now let's cycle the scope through the declination. Uh, I'm not going to run it all the way up and all the way down. All I need to do is just move it a few degrees, maybe 20 degrees uh, up, 20 degrees down, and we'll see what happens. As a matter of fact, here's a video of the test.
Okay, as we see, it passed the test. I'm happy, satisfied with it. I'm gonna put the cover back on and the uh, clutch knob. Clutch knob in place. Now all that we need is a clear night sky. Just by doing that job, I saved myself a couple of dollars. How much? Well, looking online, I found a replacement declination drive for $345. For the price of the springs of $3, I saved myself, what, $342? Just for a little spring? Not a bad deal. So you see, actually the job was actually fairly straightforward, fairly simple, required no expertise, and is something that anybody can really tackle. Now I got the scope repaired, I'm waiting for a clear night, and we're good to go. So that's all there is really to it. I wanna thank you for joining me.